Hey guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up a sensor that is BME280. In the previous videos, we have seen working of different digital sensors. This is our sensor, as you can see, it's a temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor BME280. Now, let's move on to our website that is controleverything.com and here, search in for this sensor which we will set up. So it's a digital humidity plus minus 3% RH pressure and temperature sensor and these are its some of its features which you are able to see. You can purchase this sensor from here. Uh, well I will be showing the interfacing of the sensor BME280 using a particle photon for which I will be requiring a particle code for the interfacing. So go to resource tab and here is our particle code sample. You can download the particle code sample as a zip file from here and you will be guided for further instructions. Now you can also have the code from our github repository that is control everything community. It's the official repository for control everything.com. Now you have two ways to download your code to use your code and you can go the either way. Well let's have a look over the hardware accessories uh, for which we require the setup. Let's proceed further. This is our sensor that is digital humidity, pressure and temperature sensor VME280 which we are going to be setting up. In addition to this we need a particle photon. Now to power up and provide the solution of connection among the sensor and the particle photon and to further make this connection a lot easier we need an I2C shield. Now this is the I2C shield available on the controleverything.com website. Now place the particle photon over the I2C shield and make this connection. Now the binding factor for the I2C shield and the sensor is this a connecting cable. Make the connection among the sensor and the cable like this and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same shield or factor or fundamental goes for the I2C shield. Now we are done with this connection. The last part we need to power up our particle photon and for that here comes the picture a micro USB cable. Just let it up and insert it over the power jack. So we are done with the connections for the hardware and the accessories. Now let's have a look over the code and proceed further. Well we have the setup for the hardware we require for the interfacing. The next thing we want to do is to interface the sensor with a particle photon and for that I require a code. So log in to github.com and here search in for control everything repository which is the official repository for control everything.com. Click over it and here type in BME280 which is the required sensor and here it is. Particle code is here. Before that let's have a look for the instruction for the particle photon. We have to log into our particle photon and set up the device and this is a link. Let's have a look over this link first. As you can see, this is a link. Now we can connect the device and all the instructions are provided here. Now get back to the instructions. The second part is we have to download and get pull the code. Online ID, go to the online ID and copy the code there. Build.particle.io backslash build this is the link let's have a look over this again now it's opening as you can see we can copy this entire code save it here and we can have it from here save it just like this get back to it and here we go now the last part is to verify and flash the code on the particle photon as you can see and dashboard link will help us. And as I open the open link, uh, it's opening as you can see user logs and the sensor is connected and you will get the data like this. Now get back to the code as you can see. Uh, it's a particle code as you can see dot .in extension file. The first thing you notice on the code is that we have included the application.h and spark wiring i2c.h library header files and define the address of the sensor that is 0x76. We have some 
our variables as you can see in the void setup function again some variables we require we have initialized i2c communication as master and serial communication and baud rate equal to 9600 we have some delay for that now in the void loop function we have to read some of the data for the coefficients as you can see uh, i have selected the data register 136 plus i in the decimal format requested 24 bytes of data and read all of that it the conversion part of the data is here we have temperature coefficients pressure coefficients and again we have read some of the data from the register 0x uh, 225 uh, it's a decimal part of that requested 7 bytes of data and read all of that it's a humidity coefficient and the conversion part is here so we are done with the conversion of the coefficients which are almost constant part now we have to set up the device for that we have to select the data register and this is 0x161 we have requested and read one byte of data now we have selected control humidity register having a press 0xf2 and humidity oversampling rate equal to 1 writing part is 0x01 next we have selected control measurement register having a press 0xf4 the normal mode temperature pressure and oversampling rate equal to 1 which combines for 0x27 the last part for the working command is selection of config register having address 0xf5 the standby time is equal to 1000 ms and the command is here 0x80 so we are done with the setup part now we have to read the data now here is it uh, it's a 247 from where we have to read the data we have requested 8 bytes of data and read the same now you can see we are getting a new reading here it pulls a new data which we can process it and see the upper values for that so we are converting the pressure and temperature data along with the humidity data here we have temperature offset calculations pressure offset calculations along with humidity offset calculations and all these have been included with the formulas embedded with the formulas or the procedures which we are being able to see in the data sheet for BME 280 so at the very end of our output uh, for our code output data is on the dashboard which is in the form of temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales pressure uh, in hectopascal relative humidity in percentage RH as being provided delay is there to have a smooth value so this is a generalized code in the particle format which will help us to set up and interface the code with the sensor BME 280 this is how a code look like this for the particle now we will proceed further and see how it works with the sensor well for the working part first of all let's give a road uh, to the code and see what happens uh, copy this entire code it's a bit lengthy but it's a very simple and generalized code and go to the build terminal as I showed you earlier it's being opening and here name the file bme280 and copy this entire code and save the code now verify it as you can see the code is being verified and it's done now I have to flash the code and for that this is the part by flashing the code I have to check for the magenta flash which will confirm that the code is good to go and I can proceed it further so here comes the magenta flash and it's being displayed that flash is successful now I have to wait for a moment so let's wait now it's done uh, now open up the terminal for the dashboard where we can have our output data on the serial monitor mm. as you can see the temperature in celsius and fahrenheit relative humidity and pressure is being printed out it's coming out oh, yeah. interesting sometimes it being stuck so you can refresh the code and the data will be soon available on the series ah here comes now for the change when i press my finger over the sensor you can notice there is change in all three areas pressure humidity and 
temperature relative humidity increases pressure there's a change temperature also increases now this is the how this is how a code works now let's if you want to see some more changes let's press this again and now you can see there's a change yeah it's changing again so this is how the particle code works now we have to see some of its features applications so for that let's move ahead so far now we have seen the setup the hardware and the working of the sensor BME 280 the BME 280 is as combined digital humidity pressure and temperature sensor based on proven sensing principles the BME 280 achieves high performance in all applications requiring humidity and pressure measurement these emerging applications of home automation control indoor navigation healthcare as well as GPS refinement require a high accuracy and allow TCO at the same time. The humidity sensor provides an extremely fast response for fast context, awareness applications and high overall accuracy over a wide temperature range. This product can be purchased from very website of controleverything.com and the required code is available on the resource tab as I shown you earlier. You can download the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. So I have shown you a uh, easy way to get it set up this sensor BME 280 it's working and its applications. Uh, I would make it clear in case you are in a kind of thought that uh, you are left without fully understanding. So for that if you have further queries if you want to contact me contact me on control everything.com and be sure to post your comments your queries on our community page which is shown here. Now, if you want to look over the articles, blogs of these videos, you can check us on instructables.com and for more video tutorials, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. I hope you found this video useful and I have more videos coming on my way. Till then, you enjoy yourself and have a nice day. Thanks for watching.